Joining us right now is House Freedom Caucus member, Congressman Dave Bratt. Congressman, it's good to have you on the program. Thanks very much for joining us. We're all just Thanks, Maria. wowed by this last footage that we saw. Yep. Um, uh, it was shot from your meeting on Tuesday. What happened? Yeah, well, the, the shocking thing is uh, I, I'm not too upset about the uh, critique and the, the booing, et cetera, coming from the crowd. The, the major thing that upsets you is uh, the, the politicians look like the bad guys when the behavior of the crowd is, is just raucous and boorish. And so in my town hall, that crowd is 80 percent, you know, hard left. It, was, it wasn't my uh, Democrat friends and neighbors at home. But they booed the preacher. It was at a church. They booed the church. They booed the prayer. They booed the idea that rights come from God. They raised their hands and shouted they want a tax increase. They don't want tax decreases. They want a bigger federal government. And the press didn't cover any of the content. I covered pre-existing conditions in detail for 10 minutes in a row, not a word in the news. And so the news papers aren't doing news. All they do is say, hey, there's raucous this and raucous that. There's substantive policy uh, being discussed in these, and I wish the press would do their job on that and pay a little less attention to the raucous nature of the, the back and forth. That's kind of to be expected in this new climate. Congressman, the main question here is what, what, is, what do your constituents feel about Obamacare? Because it seems to be imploding. So it seems this Congress yep. is trying to offer up a solution and there's nothing else out there right now. So what are constituents feeling about how that's imploding and what they want to do when it comes to the Affordable Care Act? Yeah, well, that's a great question, and you wouldn't know because the press, I always tell them, go interview the first 10 small business people in our phone book. You just hit it exactly right. Every small business is getting clobbered. They can't hire any new uh, employees who they consider to be family, and it's been devastating, right? So Obamacare's imploding. Aetna just left Virginia a couple days ago. The press doesn't report on any of that. Our governor, McAuliffe, says... Uh, you Republicans are killing people, and, and it's taken seriously. I mean, it, 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 it's kind of a divine comedy right now. Yeah. And so ra rationality is welcome any day now. Yeah, we've, but, we've been covering that. Go ahead, yeah, But, Congressman, what, don't Republicans deserve some of the blame because you've done a poor F-minus job in messaging yeah. what's in this bill? Yep, I agree with you. I, I covered uh, pre-existing conditions. It only applies to 11 million people on the individual market. If you're the 175 million employer provided, Medicare, Medicaid, S chip doesn't apply. It only applies to the states that opt out. It only applies to those people that l leave for one year. And then there's 130 billion to take care of that small pool under Obamacare, which had rich pre existing condition uh, treatment. Only 115,000 people nationwide signed up, yeah. right? And so this, this is what the trauma is about? You've got to be kidding me. Intellectually, it's not serious from the Democratic side. Congress